All right, so let's try another example. This time, let's try integral of x squared e to the 3x dx. Oh, see guys, I want it a little more. We did something like this before, so let's make it slightly more complicated. So let's try this one. Which one should we? Oh, first, is this an integration by parts or use of? Well, I do see a, so an inside function, right? 3x, right? But then uh, the derivative is not this one. And plus, it's, it's not hard to integrate either 3x. That's not a problem. So in our case, this will be not integration by parts, but not, not use substitution, but it will just be integration by parts, OK? Uh, which one should we integrate? Yeah? What did we do with e because it's like a log? What? What we do e? E to the 3x. Yeah. yeah. That's the one yeah, that we should algebraic. integrate. Because it, it, exponential is on the right side of algebraic. x squared plus 4 is algebraic, right? E is on the right side, so we should be integrating the exponential function. Okay, once you've chosen that, now let's write it down. The, the one that you should differentiate later first comes down without any change. And we have to integrate the e to 3x. After all, what is integration by parts? You're only choosing one part and integrating that one only, right? That's what integration by parts means. So we're integrating e to the 3x. What's the antiderivative of e to the 3x? Yes, 1 third e to the 3x. Yeah, we talked about how the reciprocal of the number in front of x appears in front. Okay. So that, that's, that's what happens. e to the x integrates to e to the x. Therefore, e to the 3x integrates to 1 third e to the 3x. And then minus integral. Now, which one goes inside here unchanged? X plus 4 because we didn't integrate it. Now it would be. The one that's integrated doesn't change when you go. When you, oh. This one goes inside without any change. And the one that you didn't do anything to, what do you do? <laughs> you differentiate instead. Okay, so x squared differentiates to 2x, 4 differentiates to 0. That's what you get. Now let's see. Let's rewrite nicely. One third x squared plus four e to three x. And it's much less confusing moving all the numbers in front. So two times one third is two thirds. Move it outside the integral so that you only have to care about x times e to three x. Okay, how do we integrate this? Do it again. Do it again, because it's again a product of a function times another function, right? And none of them have any uh, structure of the chain rule. The derivative of 3x is just 3, it's not x. So this requires integration by parts again. Again, for the same reason, we should be integrating e to 3x. So you get 1 third e to the 3x, and this is x, minus 1 third e to the 3x goes inside unchanged, but x becomes what? Just do it. You differentiate x, you get? 1 half one. Yeah. Or 1 dx. You're differentiating x, so. OK. So that's a lot of writing. You have to write the one down. I, I, I want to be correct. Uh, I mean, it, if, if, you, if you are really organized, then you may get away with not writing it. But there's always a danger of confusing yourself, OK? All right, so let's see. It's a negative, negative, so it's positive, positive 2 thirds. And oh, 113 come outside is 9 as well. 
And this integrates to, again, 1 third e to the 3x. Therefore, what we get is 1 third x squared plus 4 e to the 3x minus 2 ninths x times e to the 3x plus 2 over 27 e to the 3x plus c. Now, uh, it's not necessary, but it will be nice if you can actually factor this factor of uh, 1 over 27 e to the 3x out. Because uh, if, you, if you use this, uh, if you're using the, the result of an integral for some other purposes, sometimes you want to simplify. So in that case, let's see. Uh, one third is nine over twenty-seven, so this is really nine x squared, and x is uh, two ninths is six over twenty-seven, so this is negative six x e to three x over twenty-seven, and then this is uh, thirty-six over twenty-seven plus two over twenty-seven, so it's overall thirty-eight. So you can write this as the result. Okay. If this was a simple integration question, this, this would be enough. I'll give you full credit, but it's good to simplify.